Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Faster Than Light. We need to focus on defense. I thought about it, we only have single shields. I'm relying too much on the green shield. The green shield is an amazing addition, but it only blocks five damage. And we need to be prepared for when that stuff goes through. I mean, these offer us like the amount of disruption. The crew is disrupted and they lose their dodge. And we can reverse the charge on their weapons. So I can, I can disable their crew and their weapons. And that buys me extra time. But we need to be able to not die. So for 50, I could upgrade the shields to two barriers optionally. Or I could dump more power in here. But at the moment, I think I'm most concerned about getting our haul back. Actually, you know what? We might not live long enough to get that haul back. We really need more power. Uh, I could get this. Wouldn't have the power to use it. We're already stretching thin on this. I think being able to have power in the engine the whole time... Yeah. I should have focused on just getting one of the things. We only have to do two things to unlock the layout. We dump power into this, we actually have power now. So I can power the halberd beam, we can pump the oxygen higher, do other stuff. We're gonna focus on defenses, repairing and defenses. We have strong equipment already. We'll get the ion blast up sooner or later. And this halberd beam will carry us. All I mean, along with this stuff, too. I mean, we can actually kill their crew using their own crew. The potential. It's pretty great. You arrive at the beacon. Hostile ship immediately registers on your scanners. You didn't expect to see rebels extending their reach into slug territory. Alright, so since the jets decided to fly over the house, I would thought about things. Halberd beam can hit the most systems hitting down here. If we shoot this uh, attachment onto here, we can drain the shields. Which will let us, uh, do more damage with the halberd beam, which should disable the weapons, I think. This can't get through our shield if we have one up. This can knock that shield down, which is why I want to hit this first for more damage. And we'll probably use this on the pilot so that they can't dodge right before those things go off. Uh, we're just kind of shooting a missile. Was I shooting that again? Those will stop that. Oh, I, I hadn't named it yet. That's right. I would think I was waiting. We'll hold on to that. But... Oh, all right. That actually takes time to drain. We'll begin disrupting the shields. And at the same time, we'll take care of him so that this can't mess. So he'll run up there. Lots of damage. 30 on that, oxygen is out, which is one of the things I considered. Dropping this on the oxygen so that we could drain that out to kill them. For the most part, though, our halberd beam should handle everything. It does not appear as though we really need to do anything with it. Wow, they have to break a door before they can fix this? Or was that just a weird choice of theirs? Seven missiles! I don't think I've ever seen anyone offer that many missiles. Unfortunate that I don't need that. I need scrap so that we don't die. You get 39. Thank you, thank you, thank you for 39. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have two more. Double shields would probably be the most useful, but repairing would probably get us more than double shields. So we're going to jump one more time to try and get a little bit more scrap so that we can definitely afford it, because with our damage, I think it might be like 70. Okay. Rogue slug ship. Some kind of huge ion gun and a laser. The ion gun is the problem. So we're going to attach this onto the weapons. They don't have a med bay. I can't see their stuff to turn them into allies. Cannot mind control rooms you cannot detect life in. Okay. No reason to have that on then. We'll just have that over there for now. That will just that will distract them in there. We'll try and shoot this repeatedly so that they can't uh, dodge anything. And then halberd beam. Weapons. No, that, that can't hit there. This needs to come over here. And then instead of attacking there, we'll attack here. So that we can actually disable the weapons. That'll keep shooting stuff. Oh, this gives me vision of the room. Oh, that gives me vision of the room. 
Did that not work? I can't use it on him? Turn enemies into allies. Oh! Oh! That's right, slugs are immune to this. Okay, yeah, that was worthless then. Never mind. We gotta do some serious stuff to them soon. Alright, gotta get ready to actually begin begin disabling that now. Hover beam will go off soon. Yes! It did some damage, which took out their ion weapon. This can't get through our shields. We are we have at least avoided more damage at the moment. That got rid of their dodge. Ooh, that was really good. I'm happy with how that turned out. Miss, of course. Wait on the halberd beam. There's no reason to fire it with their shields up. Try and knock it out. Knocked it out. Sweet. When this comes back up online, that can't get through our shields. Disable it. And once that goes down... Okay. Shoot him again. Is this hitting? Is this hitting all of them? I gotta make sure that hits all four. This isn't gonna be enough to kill them. They're trying to run. Oh wait, actually it will be. We will not accept surrender. Wait, no. Wait. Wait, this is the slug sector. Slug sector was accepting surrender from slug ships. I don't think we've done that yet. Offer me the anti-bio anti thing. They transfer a meager amount of material. There, now keep your word. Dang, they were about to die too. I gotta be on top of that though. More ships is really important. Huge slug ship teleports in. Hull beam, fire beam, ion blast is dumb. Fire beam, I don't know about. Hull beam. This beam is most powerful when targeting large empty sections of hull. Two times damage. One damage for room. Uh, probably a longer sweep, but... This does two damage everywhere, even if this is a longer line. I don't know about that. 66. I expected it to be bad. Backup battery's pretty freaking cool. Drone control's cool. Drones. Stealth weapons. Long range scanner, shield booster. Not really much else we can do here. If we have only a little bit left, I would like to get more fuel so that we can do more jumps. Because the three that we spent on that could potentially get us 40 or something, you know? Uh, how do we get to the exit? Can we... We can do that from pretty much anywhere here. So we can just kind of dance around in here and be fine. Now we upgrade defenses. A slug ship hails you. We've detected some worrying radiation. We're going to try and disable stuff. They have a super shield bypass unit. Improve med bay. Try to squeeze some extra power out of the system. Counter the remote hacking. You were able to undo the damage of their remote hacking satellite, but it's taking everything your hacking system has. Oh. No. We switched it to the hacking system and I can't control their minds. I should have just squeezed it out of the med bay. That's unfortunate. About as unfortunate as these slugs attacking us. I'm going to need to be ready to drain this room of oxygen. But we'll lose the shields if I do that. Wait. You guys pile up in here. This way we don't lose the power. And I can just put power in here to keep those shields up. Now I open this. And you suffocate. If problems happen here, we'll teleport over there. I can't get through the shields as of current. So I'm going to have to use the Leto to help. The Leto will hit the shields. And if it hits the shields, I will shoot it again on top of the shields. They should still have problems suffocating. Even if they make it into here, with the damage they've taken from oxygen, these three should be able to handle it. Yeah. What weapons do they have? This is only... If, if we had double shields, it would be impossible for them to hurt us. That's kind of suck. Okay, so we're going to pump the oxygen real quick. All the doors are closed, so we're going to return to our room. If this shoots right afterwards, that's stupid. Hit, please. Thank you very much. I could hit up this way or hit up this way. 
But I think knocking out their evasion so that more missiles hit here so that we can keep this down is probably more important. Yeah. It's a regrettable lack of damage. Wait. That wasn't enough. We have to keep firing the letter at it, I guess. We might have to kill them just with... Well, we don't have the ability to kill them with just missiles. And they're hurting us. We're just gonna get out. We're just gonna get out. Unfortunately, without our hacking system to easily deplete their shields, this isn't a fight that's good for us to take. You arrive and find a small slug repair station. Greetings, traveler. Care for a fix-up? We could easily patch up some of that damage. Ask if they would like payment. Just before the cuts, they're just like, they're not falling for it. We tried to deceive them. Come back over here. This is again only a problem because of single shields. I would like to fix that soon. This is going to launch over here onto the single shields. Hmm. Launch this onto there. That way we don't have to use the Leto. And they won't be able to miss. We could hit these four pretty easy. Fixing this, though it'd be pointless at the moment. Come back over here. Disable it. Are you disabling it? Oh, right, that, that just kills the evasion. That kills the evasion. I don't know why I was staring at the shields. You have no evasion. And you can't leave to help repair stuff. Shields have been hurt. We'll save our missiles for rainy days. You got through again? That's stupid. Oh, our shields were damaged, of course. Oh, our weapons were damaged. Well, our shields are back up, and this weapon is disabled, so... No, that's a halberd beam just like ours. They can still damage us through it. Uh, we had the power to... Mm. We're getting into tricky situations now. Nothing left to really... Lombard. Where were you again? I think you were on... Oh yeah, you were on sensors, but that's not actually too relevant right now. Your save position was in there. I'll move you down there just cause. I will once again... Not be able to fire this thing. You know what? Let's just get out of here. Everything's going poorly. I need time to fix stuff, but we're in constant danger. The Mantis Turf. They're attacking stuff. Crew teleporter, and I can't see my own ship. Two single shots, one of the stun things. You guys need to come over here for a second. We'll take the power out of that. We need to fix this up, like, right quick. Nothing seems to be in immediate peril. I'm going... Need to put more into this. Okay, that stuff's repaired. Everybody back to your positions. That's good. Save crew positions just so that he stays there. Ah, uh, Leto's. What am I going to want to damage? Boarding stuff, probably not. Shields. This is also probably going to want to attach to the shields, I think. Or will we take too much damage if that's the case? Let's shoot this here. And shoot those there. If they try and board us, we'll try and suffocate them. Because we do have triple, sh triple doors. And then whenever that lands and actually drains stuff out, I will launch the halberd beam. They have boarding capabilities, but they haven't boarded us yet? That's weird. That's only enough to get one off at this point, so if I do that, can I hit? No, it's not long enough. Shields being destroyed would be great, though. Can I really not squeeze this out? Hey, we can! And it'll hit the weapons. Yes! Okay. Weapons disabled. Finally, a fight where we won't take damage. We need to get these... Right here, huh? Okay, if that's how you want to handle it. 
Your friends are already dead. They died. You got 43. Freaking sweet. So, uh, even if you do survive, I don't think you can beat me. You probably should have surrendered. Anyway, we're gonna come out of here and close those doors. There's lots of injured people at the moment. So, Translate, I'm gonna have you come down over here so that you're not, um, uh, bothering anybody. And we need some heal-ups. Just to quickly... Oh, right, Zoltans. Quickly pump the room. Mallet, you're good. Mikhail! I will always remember you, Mikhail. You're my hero. Lombard! I think Lombard was a mantis last time, too. Okay. We got him in there. Everybody's good. Everybody back to positions. We have a big crew, which is good. We have weapons. This is also good. We need shields. I think double shields would fix most of our problems right now, because there's a lot of fights that were taken where it's like, wow, you, uh, you wouldn't be able to do anything. That in there. That way. Right, you can't put power in it, but that will make it so that if a single layer is destroyed, then we won't lose our shields. There are a number of small stations for travelers in the area, lit up by guiding lights and advertisements. Only slug ships are docked, so you decide it's better to avoid confrontation. Any of these can get here, but we'll have more options here. Hostile enemies were left there. You know that, that, were, that they were bad. Give me five more, please. Convince him to make a better deal. They're immune to mind control. A black market weapons trader. Spins you a tale of the dangers of the nebula before pushing his wares. I think this is just going to make him mad, but we're going to attack him anyway. Once convinced to help, he lowers the price and describes the weapon. However, he eventually comes to his senses and confusedly takes back his discount. He's clearly unsure why he offered it in the first place. Healing burst? No. He thinks it's for, for his offer and prepare to move on. Oh well. We tried new options. There are a few more vicious beasts in the galaxy than a slug with his back to the wall. The faltering ship armed with fire weapons uses a remote hacking tool to try and disable your door system. They're going to burn you out. Counter, I don't want to counter. I don't see their ship though, are we alone? No, your counter thing's disabled when you needed it. And I can't see into their ship to use this anyway. I need, that's the two things we need right now. We need double shields, and then I need to be able to fire this ion blast. If we had this ion blast, their shields would be irrelevant. I wouldn't need this. This would just be a backup to make sure that we always get through it, and the beam would do lots of damage still. This. I have the power. They're there. Put this here, I guess? If they have fire... Wait, no. They don't have fire weapons. Single shot, I think. Or no, that's the that's the medium one. And this this is the single shot two damage. Blip blip. Okay. Leto, keep firing at the shields. Once they get down, they are down. Please hit the weapons. Yes. Okay. This last one can actually get through the shields regardless. But only if both hit. And we have some decent disarrays. Ooh, keeping these missiles out. Should probably save the rest. Yes! Sweet! The slug ship breaks apart and the hacking module is destroyed. You collect what you can. 56. We have double shields. I'm very, very happy. We have double shields. Take that out, put this back in here. Okay, so we can now keep our shields up so that we can die less, so those lasers, even the halberd beams, shouldn't be able to get through us. And I don't think there's a laser that does three damage. So I think we're decently safe-ish from halberd beams and the like now. We need more power and to be able to get this ion blast thing, so... 75 more, and then we'll just start dumping it into power. We just need to buff up our reactor. Our reactor's way under tuned because I was trying to do that stupid achievement thing. 
hop here. The slug vessel you encounter here has obviously made a big score and is looking to test its new armaments. But they picked the wrong ship. I really hope that's true. Oh wait, you know what? It just might be. I'll take that out of there and put it in here. Then I'll throw this on the shields and wait for this to get ready. I love that. Can they not attack this? Can they not do anything about this? Cannot be targeted. Hacking drone. That's so freaking sweet. Start draining it out. It gets under one. And we do this. Because they shouldn't be able to get through our shields most of the time. This is our same halberd beam. We have double shields. This fires like once every 13 seconds. And we can dodge it. Yes! Shield damage, not even trying to fix it because they want to get out of the room. It missed, so the halberd beam can't hurt us. No, they're fixing the shields. We rebroke it again. Okay. Disable it. Keep them draining. Even if it does fix it. No, it's gonna get back up. It's do do do. No, I wanted the two damage so much. Uh, they're slug ships. We have to accept the surrender. Anti-bio beam. Take this newly developed weapon we're transporting. They're not going to be happy we gave it up. That is for sure. We don't want the weapon. We want information. You ask where they were delivering the weapon. By telling you, we would probably die. Just as likely as not. Oh well. They give you the coordinates of the prototype cruiser's mobile construction platform. Added a quest marker to the next sector. Yay! See, another one of the things that's great is, as much as I like doing these little quests and stuff, once we have most of the ships from these sectors, like, I don't have to worry about if I'm screwing it up or not. Like, now whenever we come to slug sectors and stuff... Ah, oh, this is this is neat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely look this over by the time when we get into the next sector. Ah, oh, this is good. Alright. The FTL beacon is here. Abandoned sector was the only option. The sector was settled, or this sector was the site of many major battles between the Federation and Rebel fleets. Strangely, there's very little evidence of those battles remaining. West. And it's really close to the exit, and you can't get to the exit from up there. You can go up and down and around. It's in a really good place. We'll definitely get this. I'm going to look over the requirements of what we need to do. I'll throw one more jump in here. And then we'll see what... Oh, we're low on fuel. We need to make sure... If they offer us lots of... Uh, lots of fuel, we'll accept the surrender. Lanius, they've marked your ship for salvage. That can't get through us. That can. There's only two of them. And we're outside of the nebula, which means that this should work. Especially since they're not slugs. So I will take this point out of here and put it into here. Because if I do this, they'll lose all ability to dodge. And with this, I'll attack in reverse. Take those out. And I'll launch this at the... Shields, because I won't be able to get through otherwise. Okay, so now this will activate right before that one goes off. They're going to fight each other. They don't have a med bay. Honestly, with how much damage they do, I think we're going to take their ship. Start draining this, please. Good. Four fuel, 28. I could kill them both, but I don't think we're going to get the fuel. I am desperate for fuel right now. Distress. I'm mostly concerned with getting to this quest location. If we could just slingshot this way, that'd be great. I think we can make this, and I like distress beacons. I feel like the payoffs are usually a little better. You find the source of the distress call. A small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and you don't have a rock person. Send your crew and a shuttle to help put out the fire. Doc and try to rescue the survivors. Please. You send your crew into the station. Unfortunately, as soon as they enter the fire breaches and you're fired... Oh my god. You lose your Lanius! Ah. 
Well, Lombard, it looks like you've been promoted from security detail to doors. So, saving positions, that was a... That was a something. Elania's merchant appears to have a significantly improved translator, and you clearly understand their message. Hmm. Three of those for 30. I would love that. I'm not using it at all, but if I could get another Lanius, that could be something. For anti-boarding stuff, though, we already have a Mantis. Do I really need a Lanius? There might be more blue options and stuff, but... I kind of feel like we should just get the scrap. After this change is complete, they leave without a word. I need to upgrade this. We are now capable... Of being able to fire the Ion Blast. Which gives a huge load off of us. We just need to upgrade power now? Like, honestly, I realize if this misses watch once the, the blast falls off, like the Ion Charge. But this is a win condition. Even against the Rebel Flagship, if this if this charges up just a little bit, and I dump this on their shields and we, we take it out a little bit, the Halberd Beam can do damage. I could probably hit two of their weapons at the same time. Or actually, I could just mind control people in their ship to have them damage it while I'm also doing that. I like that this is cheap and gives us more utility. What did these do again? Boost health and damage, sweet. Seven second disruption. Ten second disruption. This, this is worth upgrading, I think. Either way, I'm going to make this episode infinitely long if I don't stop myself. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.